Good morning. Happy another Wednesday, another Wednesday launch. Um, today's Wednesday launch is brought to you by a very large shipment of containers um, that is just arriving. So, um, or has arrived. Um, we have expected this product over the course of the last um, month, and it's just been severely delayed. And then, then they um, are just like, here you go. Here's a ton of it. So, okay, who's on? Nellie's on. Good morning. I think I answered one of Nellie's questions last night. You guys, I was on our fa our Facebook VIP page last night. Um, I hopped on after getting the kids in bed and or homework bed. <laughs> Lunch is made. Um, and I felt like I answered like 100 questions. I'm sure it wasn't that many. But um, I did that on our VIP page because I knew you guys would have questions about our um, Not Your Mom jeans, which I'll you today. So, Sarah's on, Mardell from Tucson, Carol from Washington, Deborah from Tyler White House area, Bettina's on, Sean's on. Hi, Sean. I also answered, I think, you guys, I hope, was that helpful for those of you VIPs that I answered questions? I don't know. Regardless, we're going to talk about a lot about it today. But um, we have had... Um, Linda said, oh, Linda's here. Colorado, oh, Linda, I'm sure Colorado's great. Rick was just there. You guys, we are going to Colorado for our winter photo shoot in two, two weeks, two weeks. Speaking of, um, we have had a tough week this week, and I didn't know if I was going to mention this on here or not, but I feel like I should because a lot of you are VIPers that are on here. Um, but one of our dear employees who's been with us eight years he does um all of our videography he does our branding like branding department marketing um he's the one who started our vip page like set that up started it um tons of stuff tons of stuff vipers if you only knew how much matt does and and for those of you who are vipers you've probably seen him he's comes to all of our photo shoots does all of our video does all the fun little video segments um he unexpectedly passed away um, two days ago, suddenly and unexpectedly. So um, we worked very, I worked very closely with him in the marketing and branding. He got my eye. He um, is a huge, it's a huge loss, um, obviously, to his family, his wife, and his, uh, his two young boys. Um, so if you guys can just keep us and his family, um, his name is Matt, um, in your prayers, um, we are we're going through the emotions and the grief and everything of um, of losing him. So anyway, I don't I, I didn't know that I was going to share that, but when I think about Matt and I think about what he does for us and what he does for you, um, you guys you guys have no idea. So anyway, we might not have video for a while. We might not have, um, gosh, all everything that he does. Our emails, graphics, um, are all we're we're scrambling over here to um, to deal with that. So, anyway, he was very young, um, very young, and just um, didn't wake up a couple of days ago. So, anyway, he um, leaves behind his wife and, like I said, two young boys. Anyway, we're gonna move on because we have a launch, and he would want us. He does a lot of behind the scenes for launches. He does a lot of, um, oh gosh, I, I can't even begin to tell you all that Matt did, but um, he would want us to move on and continue on and have this massive launch. So that's what we're doing. Um, and it is a big one. <laughs> so um, we were like feeling the ramifications of Matt not being here this morning. And in fact, Sarah back here was like, ah, oh, crap, Matt did this, Matt did this, what do we do? So we are, the show is going on, we're going on, that's what we'd want us to do. And um, we are going to pray for him and his family. So, and obviously the impact that it has on our business. And for a while, like I said, we, we were looking for a new videographer and graphic, any other stuff. Okay, all right. Let's go. We are doing something different. We're trying something a different day. I'm going to put this in the mix. Um, I am going to try on, I'm going to put on um, everything we're talking about. <laughs> talking about when I'm talking about it. So we'll still have the girls come out from the back and show you these things. But we also don't have Natalie's um, out of town. Ash isn't here. 
Um, so we were hoping that this helps me to put the stuff on. So I'm going to jump off screen. I'm going to attempt, okay? Um, I'm going to attempt to jump off screen, throw stuff on. My outfits might not look that great together or work together, but I'm hoping that I can, as I talk about it and have it on me and the girls um, in the back, that that will, that will help you guys see it both ways. So thank you guys. Thanks for all your condolences. And it was sudden, tragic. Um, so anyway. You guys, he was he he worked very closely with the VIP page. Spent a lot of time um, analyzing that page. So you don't know him, but he knows you well. Um, okay, let's get started. Wash and warm graphic tee. Um, I, I we're gonna try. I'm gonna try. You guys, I I I talk. I. Talk. I talk probably too much, um, and we want to spend a lot of time talking about the not your mom jeans because they're not your mom jeans. Mom jeans are the trend. These are not your mom jeans or their mom jeans or the jeans that everyone else is selling as mom jeans that look fabulous on the skinny little 14-year-old um, bodies, right? So uh, we designed them to fit women of all curves, sizes, shapes, and still fit that trend. I took that on as a personal project. We have spent... Uh, countless hours um, making, helping you transition from a skinny jean world into a non-skinny jean trend. Okay, I know it's scary. We're going to talk about the fears that we have about that today. Um, and I'm going to talk about how we took that project on to transition you safely, um, slowly, okay, not into this what you think of mom jeans being or what you might see as the super far trend of mom jeans being, but the gradual stepping to help us all transition as trends change. Okay, okay. Wash and worn graphic tee. This is um, probably our most edgy, trendy, fit the trend tee that we have ever done. Um, we wanted to kind of give you this fit this grungy look. This is the thing, rocker band tees, throwback tees, um, tees with large graphics. This is that material that feels like um, I don't know, your husband, boyfriend, tea, whatever that you've worn or the tea you have in your closet that you've worn and washed a million times and this is what it comes out as, this is what that tea is, okay? So the material is cotton, but it's very, very, very worn out. In fact, we even did some notch distressing on here. Just a little bit on the hem. You can kind of see it there. We have kind of this, uh, hold on, I'm eating my hair. Um, we have this exposed stitching Okay, it all just kind of fits to the look. See the, the exposed um, stitching a little bit right there, a little bit of the notch cutouts. Again, we wanted this to be kind of fit that grungy, casual, this is the trend. This is the, this is the look, okay? <laughs> this is what's in, this is what's trending, this is what, um, what they're all wearing, <laughs> okay? Um, so if you are wanting to be in that trend, if you are wanting to, um, if you just relate to that style, this kind of, what, what does it say? Born free, wild and free, live free. Okay. Live free. Victoria did this graphic and I think it's so fun. You don't have to, you don't have to love motorcycles. You don't have to be like, this is the same thing with the rocker band tees. You don't have to love Metallica. You don't have to, um, you don't have to love those, you know, I don't whatever these teas are, you kind of can't even understand what they look. But we wanted to kind of have this like live free, jump on a bike, travel through the, you know, well, I can hold up what I have on me here. Multicolored tonal mountains kind of through here, kind of gives you that desert vibe a little bit with a little um, cactus and these little things and then just kind of a scrunch out. So really worn out, grunged out, big graphic, live free, like it's, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's one that you don't have in your closet. It's not like all of our perfect pocket tees. It's not the material of our perfect pocket tees. It kind of is just a hang and drape and loose fit. Now, I sized up to a medium, right? Sophia, put the medium on. I can wear the small. So the small in your normal size will be a little bit more true fit, even though it has kind of this boxier style. Um, if you want the look, the look, the trend look is to um, go oversized. You might want to size up one, some might even size up two. Just depend if you want something long, if you're into the biker, sh biker shorts, trend, spandex, whatever, cover, all the things, and you want, to, you want that really baggy look, um, you can go up, I would go up a, a size. 
if you want more of a true size fit, this is a good, you guys, I was checking out the listings. Um, it's helpful to see our model who is an extra small is wearing the small. So we sized her up to get kind of that look a little bit, you know, longer, looser, oversized type of look. If you look at the stock model, she's in her normal size extra small. And there you can kind of see how much more um, your normal size fit more of a fitted look it would be. So if you're not into the super baggy, super oversized um, look, you can absolutely stay in your normal size and get more of a true to size look. So we did extra, extra small to extra, extra large in these, just depending on the look that you want, okay? If you want something that's not, if I put the small on, oh, is this where I'm, is this where I'm supposed to change into the small? Oh, but I'm not, I'm not ready for these changes, okay? Um, if you want, if you want a more true to size fit, which would be my small, is this what I have to do? You guys are like, yeah, it's so Um, you, no, no, Tisha, we're not, we make up, we make 99% of all of our tops are very long. All of our pocket tees cover the butt, cover the crotch. That's, that's all the things. Um, we, this is also not a short <laughs> top. Okay. It's, it's long. It covers, it fits the trend. If you want more oversized, more length, you want a bigger look, then that's why, um, we, why we say to go ahead and size up. So the small on me is a more true, um, fit. Okay. So either if you're like, I don't want the oversized trend, I don't want the loose and flowy oversized look. Then you go up, then you go down, okay? Then go down in sizing, okay? Okay, okay, moving on. We can move on. No, I have to bring people out. Oh, my brain's not working, you guys. Okay, Gabby's in this extra small. And um, like I said, you guys, these are just fun to throw, or like I wore, just to throw on with the plaid, whatever, over the top, okay? So extra small on her. If she wanted, do you mind if I pull oh, you yeah. out? Okay. If she wanted a more true to size, like more of like a T, a little bit more of a fitted T fit or look, she could go down to the extra, extra small, but she's not going to get, she won't get the Lucy, you know, it'll look more true to size on her. So she, she's an extra small for us and she's in the extra small here. If she wanted, like I said, and this is why you guys are going to be able to size up or down in this, just depending on the styling that you want. We wanted to give you that versatility if you're like, I don't like the big oversized. I love big oversized, okay? Just, so extra small, which could be her normal size. She could go down to extra, extra small for a more fitted style look. She could go up to a small for a much more baggy oversized, but this this looks great, okay? Hangs, flows, distressed jeans, booties, hat, like she's styled all she needs. She could throw on a plaid. She could throw on a camo jacket. Would be super cute with this. Um, gosh, when, have other products coming that look really really good with us that you'll see with this tea that look you know good in the future that you'll see coming up in the future okay okay Marianne um how does this compare to the wide open spaces tea different material um fit is probably similar this is probably looser and more um the material is different so it doesn't you can, you can stay in your same size this is just going to feel different on it's much more looser and flowier okay okay um Sophia's in this in her small Dory says, hubby's getting ready for a long bike trip. Yes, go with them and wear this. <laughs> um, okay, Sophia's going to do, or did you go, no, you were, no, I'm in the small. Okay, small. So, which is more of her true to size. Again, if she wanted medium, she could go up for a much more loose, baggier look, um, but she's more in her, like, true, true fit, okay? And that, oh, you guys are all asking, um, yes, Janine, I think it's Janine has that. I have the medium on. I can wear the, do I have to put this, do I have to jump off screen? <laughs> Let me put, um, Ash, uh, medium or large, depending. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm confident I'm doing this totally wrong. Hold on. <laughs> do you have your socks on? Mm, you can't come out if you want. <laughs> we don't quite have this uh, planned. We're improvising. Guys. Hi. Yeah. Okay, what are you, what size are you in? Extra okay. large. Okay. Extra large. Now, Amanda, but you put on the extra extra. Yes. Um, so there you guys, I put on this, the small. I don't know. It's fine. If I wanted more length, I'd go extra extra. Yeah. So this is why we did this with the range of sizes. You guys, you control. If you want that big oversized look, you're going to go up. If you want something a little bit more true to size. So here's the small me. So fits closer to my body. 
not as much length. I can still do a casual tuck, but you can see. See how the medium was a lot, lot more oversized on me. Um, so yes, Gina, yes, Ash would be a medium. She could go to a large for an over, more oversized fit, but a medium will fit her more um, true to size, okay? So you guys can kind of see that in your normal size, it's a more true to size T. It is, um, it does have stretch, but it's not a slinky, it's not a slinky stretch like our perfect pocket tees. Um, it's not that, it's just a worn out, distressed out cotton. Very comfortable. This is the stuff I wear on the weekend. This is what I wear on the weekends um, because I just love to live in super comfortable teeny tees, right? Okay. Um, was that it? Michelle was in, no, Amanda was in extra large. She could go up if she wanted more oversized. Oversized, look, that's how we give you that range of sizes. Okay, can we move on? Classic neck. This one is finally here. This is supposed to launch, I think probably a month ago with the gray tie-dye, um, the butter joggers. Okay, that's when this one was supposed to hear. I'm glad it's here now. This is just, so now we're getting away from, look at, look at the difference here. This one, you really grunge, square body, side slits, exposed seams, little bit of a notched, notch neckline. Okay, this is our class, this is our classic perfect pocket tee. Look nice, slinky, stretchy material, slight scoop hem. And then this one says get outside and you get a lot of neutral, just kind of dustier colors in here. Um, grays, sages, a little pop of like kind of chartreuse gray mountain scene. So this might be more of your style. This is that grungy, oversized, styled look. This is more of just the classic graphics that we do. Now this is our, this is our newest neckline that we've been doing like in the, um, floral stripe tee, the Grayson Lace t-shirt. Um, it's not crew and it's not scoop. It's in between and it's perfection. If you don't have this neckline yet, it's really, really um, perfect, okay? Um, and then this is that looser, this is kind of, uh, I think, perfect pocket tee, no, 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 perfect V-neck tee fit. Um, same fit as the, oh my gosh, let me remember. Um, the striped and floral tee, kind of tiger tee fit. Although this material um, will have a little bit more give than what tiger did with the heathering on the tiger, um, but a little bit more true to size than how oversized um, some of our other other tees are. So um, I wear the small in this, uh, which is the same size I wear in like the V-neck tees, um, things like that. Okay. Let's bring out, oh shoot, I was supposed to change. <laughs> Let me bring out, um, Gabby's in this in her normal size, extra small. This is the one you guys, you cannot, you can, um, you can tuck. It's stretchy, it's slinky. You can style it with cardigans. You can style it with a denim jacket. You can style it over leggings. You can style it over the tie-dye butter joggers. I mean, that's this is just the one that you just put on. Um, and you, then you get, you might not have much of this dusty, these kind of dustier, subtle um, tones. We don't use those a lot in graphics. So this is kind of that first time that we used kind of those sagey, um, sagey and grays and all that, that kind of coloring. Okay, so just throw it on. Just just um, give yourself a knot, give yourself a tuck, jeans, joggers, whatever, leggings, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> Put it on. My normal size, I'm not going to put this one on. You guys have seen that, seen that on me. That's normal size small. I wear in the normal size small on that one. Sophia's in this, in her, in a size small. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about the blue. Christy, we're going to talk about the blue cardi in a second. Okay, this is cute. This is adorable. What a way to... Um, tie in a colored denim here on the bottom, our sage, our olive -y, distressed knee, blown knee, whatever we call jeans, denim jacket, which is coming back, I'm waiting for that container to come off the boat. Um, but see how that's kind of just subtle, like it fits with the tones of fall, transitioning into fall. You're not bright and vibrant, you're just kind of subtle, so easy, easy to wear, okay? Um, Michelle's in this one in her normal size, extra large. Yep, extra right. large. Okay. Um, so just, just tea and jeans. This is just easy. This is just my look. Just throw it on. Don't think about it. Throw a cardi over it. Matches a lot. You guys will find a lot that you can wear with it. Easy, easy to wear. Okay? We're moving on. I'm trying to go faster because I know we're coming up to the jeans. Uh, snow day hooded cardi. Yay. Um, what 
we did, guys, is took the beloved um, Snow Day pullover. I own all the colors. I wear those probably one of my top five things that I wear consistently and have for years because the Snow Day pullover is my favorite. I've been wearing it since I was nursing, so five, five years. Um, because um, I just love the drape and the hang and the fit of the Snow Day pullover. If you don't have Snow Day pullover, look that up on our site, gracenlace.com. If you don't have one of those yet, we took kind of the love for that in the fit of the sleeve and the arm and the drape and put it into a cardigan. So same material, okay? It's slinky, it's stretchy, it's soft, it has the heathered tone on tone gray. On this one, it has pockets. It has thumb holes, it has a hood, okay? So same concept, same feel, and similar fit, okay? In terms of we just wanted a casual Cardi that um, for all the reasons, for all the reasons that you love the um, Snow Day pullover, you will now have in a Snow Day Cardi, okay? Now, it does, and it has pockets here. On the side, you can see I just put my thumb holes in and through my thumbs and thumb holes and then a hood back here nice just kind of waterfall-ish drape um what i love and what you can do and i think we styled it in the pictures if you want a little bit more of an athleisure look and kind of want to get the look of your snow day pullover in um in the in the cardi just give yourself a knot so super cute for athleisure or just wanting to tie it up. You, I mean, I just did that. You can do it twice if you want. I just think it needs one, it stays. This is the size small, um, which is the size that I, that I wore in the Snow Day pullover. Now, no tension in the sleeves at all, just like in the Snow Day pullover. Nice, looser type of a fit, relaxed fit. It's supposed to be casual cardi. So just kind of has that like throw on vibes. Okay. Um, if you want a more snug fit, some of you will be able to size down because it is stretchy, it's slinky, it's drapey, but it has that good kind of medium weight. Oh, for those of you that have, yeah, those of you that have the snow day pullover, you're in luck because you know what that feels like. And now this is in a cardi form. It's hard for me to explain for those of you who don't have it, um, what this fabric feels like, but it's probably in the top three fabrics, um, of my favorite fabrics that we've ever designed. Okay, so wrap yourself up. I mean, go answer the door in the morning, on a chilly morning. Um, it, it, it's just one of those, like this is, you're gonna find yourself grabbing this and you'll actually probably be like, crap, do I wanna put my snow day cardigan on or do I put my snow day pullover on? Because that's how great it is. Three colors in this. This is the gray uh, slate, what did I call this color? Just gray, <laughs> just gray, just gray. Um, a fun cobalt, okay? Uh, you guys saw Gabby came out with this one on. This is a bright, vibrant blue. This helps with that whole kind of athleisure trend. If you find yourself wearing like perfect fit tank or kind of a sporty, with sporty looks, this is great for your sporty look. Or you guys, you can even swing this for work wear, okay? Especially a bright color like this. You could do a black cami underneath, some black, black pants. Um, and then you kind of have your pop of kind of, you know, that fashion color type of look. Fits the same as others. Fabric is the same. So soft, very slinky, and you get your tone on tone black and that vibrant cobalt in here. I need to know what colors you're buying. <laughs> I think this is one of going to be one of your favorites, okay? Um, what did we call this color? Jasper. Um, you guys love, you guys are love, you guys, I think you're going to say, I think this is going to be one of your favorite colors. I just have a feeling. Um, the Jasper's like a, a muted kind of toned down green blue, more to blue, more to green than blue. I feel like it's actually showing up perfectly on the screen. Um, but again, this one gives you kind of that dusty um, transitional color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The only thing better to stick your hands in in a Cardi is bamboo. Um, but if you're not, like if you want something a little bit lighter than bamboo, snuggly, um, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> I don't want to take it off. Patricia, I know the dang gratitude shirt. We were hoping the gratitude shirt was coming with this one, but of course ports aren't taking off shipment, taking off cargo in any particular order. So we're waiting. We we'll hope it's soon. Um, we really hoped it would have been here long by now. But this Jasper is a great color. Green, 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 and, um, you know, kind of like the heather black coming 
the food here. There is no, I just saw a comment, there's no snow day pullovers coming this year. We, this has replaced it as kind of the new version um, in our snow day material. So if you love the snow day, you love the snow day pullover, I hope you have the colors or snag the color that's still left on our site um, because uh, we, we do not have any of the pullovers um, coming. Okay, questions on that or we can bring people out. Uh, you saw Gabby in this already. Sophia's in this in small. Yeah, I mean, Gabby can come out again if she wants. If she wants, she's like, I'm dressed in it. I'm changing. I'm just in the same outfit. <laughs> she, she doesn't have to change. She can get in the same outfit. So normal size, extra small. She can wrap up. She can put her hands in the pockets. Like just drapey, flowy, easy. K. I don't need to explain it. It's just so soft, so comfortable. You'll want to live in it. It's fabulous. Okay, extra small. I wore the small. I have the small on. Gabby has the extra small. Sophia's coming in the small. If you have the snow day pullover, I'd go with the size that you like in the pullover, okay? Um, so just casual, like I said, doesn't, doesn't have the tension in the sleeves, nice and drapey, side pockets, thumb holes, whatever you prefer. Karen says winner, it is a winner, okay? <laughs> thumb holes, so she's in small, she could go down to an extra small, but right, probably, with the sleeve. I probably could, but, but it's just I meant to be, one. it's just meant to be casual, easy, easy to wear, okay? Um, no, the Jasper is not the same color as the Snow Day. And ask the VIP page of the girls back here. We'll, we'll try to show you the comparison of the color. It's not. This is a little bit more richer and less, um, more blue-green. That the sagey color of the pullover is more like a, towards the grassier, um, yellower side of green. This is, this is more of a blue-green. Okay. Um, Vicki, she can wear either. Um, when she put it on, she the, the small is a little bit more snug on her arm. She said not too too small. Um, the medium just gives her a little bit more of a relaxed, relaxed feel. This is another style that you're going to probably be able to wear two sizes because the material is soft and stretchy and hangs really well. Um, so it's just going to be per personal preference if you want to size down and get a snugger look. In your normal size, you won't have tension in the sleeves or anything like that. Okay, and then Michelle's. Yep. And this one. Okay. Oh, cute. Hey, throw it over a graphic tee. There's the Tetons again. I don't know if this is still on sale, but I hope you bought it when it was like eight bucks because apparently we can use it with everything. But graphic tee, tank, I mean, don't think too hard. This is one of those things you just grab in your closet, necessity in your closet for fit and feel. Okay? Okay. Um, we're on to the not your mom jeans. Finally. So tune in. Put your sound back on if you're watching me, put your earphones on if you're at work, whatever, because we have a lot to talk about about these. Now, I started on my rant, my very passionate rant um, in the start of this video, but um, what it comes down to, you guys, is uh, denim style, all, all uh, fashion cycles, okay? Cycles in and out. Um, there are scary transitions for me, okay? Even me, even me, and this is where like I'm like me, okay? I'm I'm us. I'm one of you. Even I was a little scared. I'm like, girls, seriously, we have to do the mom jean trend. Like, you're gonna make me do this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be real with you. I have a passionate moment here with the realness. But here's the thing. Do you, this is gonna date my age, but maybe some of you are on the same age. Do you guys remember promising like your friend or whoever that you'd never wear skinny jeans? Raising hands. That was me. I was like, who would want jeans that are tight to their body? Who would want? I mean, same thing with like, remember we wore super low rise where the zipper was like this long and they were worn down. This totally dates me. But I know some of you are like, yes. Okay. Same thing. Or even I think I was in sixth grade. My mom probably still has it on a recording where I said, mom, I will never wear bell bottom. I will never wear flare jeans. Okay, I couldn't believe that. I saw her old pictures of her in high school in flare jeans. I'm like, I'll never wear those. Okay, we always say we never wear those. The truth is the trend is changing. They're cycling. Now, now hear me, hear me well. Skinny jeans are not going anywhere yet. There's still a few years, I would say at least three. My design team back there in the trend forecasting can probably correct me. Where um, they're not going, they're not going out. However, the trend is moving into looser legs, wider legs, relaxed jeans. This can be scary. I understand that. It's scary for me. We are here to help you transition slowly. So you don't have to jump from your skinny jean. Man, I feel flattering. 
I feel like I'm 10 pounds thinner than what I am, um, love, to not the big, high, <laughs> super high waist, big, giant, that you guys have, if, if you've been anywhere, seen it, look, look at what the teenagers are wearing, okay? That's the trend. Look at what the teenagers are wearing. That's scary for us, for me, <laughs> okay? Um, so we wanted to bring you into that trend without going to the scary side of it, gradually. This is what gets us there safely, <laughs> securely. I'm being dramatic with my words, understand that? But I had the same fear. So I'm like, I'm gonna design a pair that is flattering on the body, that does work work with curves and shapes and even boxy figures, and that doesn't just look good on the tiny skinny bean pole 14 year old, okay? So we, we did these and they are really, really good. Um, let me just talk a couple of things about, where did I put the, where did I put the pair in? Oh, right here. Okay, one, the material is different. I'm gonna say the um, closest fit and styling wise is going to be our girlfriend jeans. Keep that in mind this whole conversation. There are, there are a lot of differences and some similarities with the girlfriend jeans. We're gonna start with material. They are a thicker, more true, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. Twilled denim, okay? More of your classic denim weight and feel. They're thicker. This is what mom jeans are. Now, traditional mom jeans out in the world are stable, have no stretch, have severe holes blown out, distressing detail, okay, whatever. Oh gosh, you guys are like, dear Lord, please don't let those rise to circle back. That is very scary, Sarah, very scary. It is It is gonna circle back and uh, it is very scary, I'm telling you. Okay, um, so you get kind of that true jean feel. You do not have a jean in your closet. You do not have jean from Grace and Lace in this type of material. It's a very like um, true kind of classic, real, when you think back to the jeans that you had that, that didn't have any stretch, similar to that now we did add stretch to these because we don't want to scare uh, we don't do the massive jump okay so these do have stretch and they do relax with wear keeping in mind remember that we they're most similar to our girlfriend jeans the difference is in the rise girlfriend jeans are are sit um lower they kind of sag they kind of sag and bag out lower to kind of get that look this is going to give you a looser hip looser leg all the way down um Keep in mind, my hip is bigger. I'm my normal size six, my hip is bigger. So I'm not ever gonna get a looser hip unless I go to like eight or a 10, like a super, super loose. Cause I, we can't fit me with no stretch. You're gonna get these, I would say in your true size. Some of you might um, be able to size down if you don't carry your weight in your waist. These have stretch, they don't have a ton of stretch. In order to get this drapey leg, I have to back up. Can they still hear me back there? <laughs> In order to get this loose drapey leg fit, we can't add a ton of stretch because the stretch is what contracts the material back to your body. So we can add a little bit of stretch where you still get comfort through your way, through your hip and your waist. So I still have, I don't know how white my stomach is. I still have um, some stretch in my waist. You are gonna get a relaxed fit. You want it, um, it, it relaxes with a little bit of wear. You wanna start out with it kind of snug on your body a little bit snug on your waist because you and the, the material is gonna relax a little bit like the girlfriends do with wear. This is my normal size six. I have, um, I can, I can get into the four. I wore the four in the girlfriends. Um, the girlfriends are different. They hit in a much different place. These are a high, high rise to fit that look. Um, I've recently lost uh, like 10 pounds um, of my COVID weight. Um, so I can get into the four and the four do really have to suck into button, button the four. Um, and they're very snug in my hip and my thighs starting out. They do relax on me, but they don't relax com comfortably to give me the look that I want. Again, my hips are not, not a size small. Okay. So I prefer this look and this fit of, um, the size six. Now, what else are we, I'm like out of breath. Um, the other thing is length to address. Yes, the trend is to have your jeans hit shorter and sit above your booties um, or shoes. The, the thing is actually, you guys, this is such a plus for me because I always struggle with my ankles with jeans, with skinny jeans. I'm like, do I tuck them into my booties? Do I fold them above my booties? 
what do I do? We gave you, um, this has the traditional mom jean shorter length. I have them cuffed because I have them on with sneakers with flats that you can cuff them twice, you can cuff them once. Um, but they are a shorter inseam to sit above your booties. If I put these on, I don't have a pair of booties with me. Um, but some of you, some, depending on your inseam, some might cuff them to go above booties. You could hem them, but for the for an average height, 5'5", five, five, myself, these sit perfectly above um, above the booty level. So you don't have, and yes, that's a trend. That's the way it's supposed to look. That's how the girls are wearing it, okay? Um, so that's that. Does this, what, what are the questions? What are the questions? <laughs> Elena, is the fit like the fit of the original girlfriend jeans? Yes and no. No in terms of the original girlfriends um, are lower, are a lo one of our lowest rises. Those sit well below a belly button. They kind of fall to sit on your hips. These are a high rise. In fact, I think this is one of our highest rises. I'm um, just above my belly button. That's the mom jean is a high rise. In fact, there's ultra high. <laughs> Their mom jeans are supposed to go really high. Okay, we didn't want to go really high, but we wanted to fit that trend. We didn't want to confuse these with a girlfriend. Look, get you have girlfriend jeans or you love your girlfriend jeans. You wear them all the time, whatever. We wanted to give you the true mom jean, which is a higher rise. Now, some of you are like, does mom jeans mean you have a mom butt, right? Okay, biggest question, right? Um, we, I, what we did is just give your butt a good looking butt, okay? I absolutely think mom butt is a thing. Jeans can look way too high in the butt and cover too much butt surface, but we made ours to, see, isn't that flattering? Okay, I'm not thin, you guys. I'm not, I've got a butt, I've got a butt, I've got hips, okay? And um, I just think we made them to look and be flattering. That was another problem with mom jeans on the market. I tried on some ones that I'm like, you guys, I cannot have my butt look like this. Okay, the distressing is uh, easy, simple, not too much. Um, the distressing is definitely a mom trend. In fact, you'll see out in the world, the distressing is usually a lot more than this. We didn't want to go heavy distressed, um, but kind of the traditional and the trend of the mom jean is to have distressing. I know you guys, please, they're like, please add. We have a non-distressed pair coming, 2022. This is the only pair of mom jeans this season, but we wanted, we wanted you to feel like you can dress this up. You can dress this down. You can tuck a cami in and belt this and even put on like one of our FabFit blazers to fit that trend. These, even though they have distressing, doesn't mean they're grunged out. And that's what, why we just kind of did gentle. We didn't do heavy. We didn't do heavy, big chunks, which is more of what the trend usually is, okay? They are not patched. They are, they are open, but they are pretty dense. We kept the threading neutral um, to kind of keep that, those areas pretty dense threaded. Lisa, yes, they are high. They are a higher rise. I would call these probably one of our higher rises. Usually our mid rises fit me like just at, under my belly button. These are on, if not a little bit over my belly button. You see how cute? I don't know. I'll start showing my butt. Let's bring some people out. Okay. Gabby's going to be, what do we say? Gabby's two. Yes. So here's the other thing with it. See? You don't have to go, you can do the, I'm interrupting my own <laughs> train of thought here because I just saw what she's in. You don't have to do this grunged out look. You can totally do that. That fits with the trend. Put your sneakers on. Can't wait freaking sneakers to launch to you guys. Um, but you can do the, the booty and a sweater, but not feel like you like had to, had to have this grungy look, but you're in a comfortable, loose leg, slight stretch, fit and feel. Okay, now she's a little bit on the shorter side, so she's doing one cuff to hit uh, five three, right? Yeah. So at five three, she's doing one slight cuff, which is what <laughs> I have on my sneakers too. Um, to hit that with booties, she could go full down, let them out with like sneakers or flats or something like that. But see, isn't that cute? Does that does this relate to you? Does this make this safer and feel safer? Okay, Tori, yes, the waist does stretch out. After wearing, you want it to start um, snug on you, okay? Uh, Sophia's in these. Sorry, I'm like running out of 
breath and work its way. Okay. Sophia's in uh, six. six. Yes. Now, Sophia can sometimes be four in our stretchier denim. You want to be careful. Some of you will be able to size down. Sophia has an itty bitty waist, um, and she can usually size down to fours because of her tiny, her waist like half size, half <laughs> size of mine. Okay. But when she sizes to a four, she loses the looseness through her leg. She gets more snug through her leg. So keep that in mind. Like, be careful with sizing down. Even if you have a tiny waist, you probably can size down because of that. But you're going to lose a little bit of the relaxed feel. If you, if it, now if you're tiny waist and tiny legs, you'll be yeah. fine. But so Sophia's right. more like standard, yeah. and we both have booties, okay? So, um, you know, she, she's going with a six to get, keep that little loose. But, and then sneakers, she didn't, um, she didn't cuff hers. She left them cute. Hers are butter cuffed, hers are not. Just do what you want. Don't think too hard about it, okay? Okay. Um, what size is Gabby in waist shapers? Gabby, are you two in waist shapers? What size are you in waist shapers? Two. She's changing it back. She's a two in waist shapers. Ann, okay? Okay. And then who else is in this one? Amanda's. And her normal size, right? What? Oh, she, oh darn it. She's sneaking. Don't look. Don't, don't look. <laughs> She's sneaking not here yet. These dang hats are not here yet. But that's a Grace and Lace hat. She's sneaking it. Talk about the jeans. She's in her normal size. Um, These are 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. So she can be 14s in some jeans. She is doing 16s again. She wanted to keep the leg loose. We didn't want to scare you off with a super, super, super loose leg here. Okay. Wide leg. I know. Wide leg is coming. Trending. Mm -hmm. We will have wide legs in the future, but we wanted to give you that kind of just in between. So you you guys will feel, you guys will be able to tell this is a looser, I, I, it doesn't look super loose on me. We didn't go super baggy on these, um, but even at my hip in the six, like I'm, I'm not tight here in the hip. That's that the look, we want these to fall. We want these to fall and hang on you and not be sucky bit. Okay. Any questions? I know we still have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so I just wanted to catch, I know the team is catching questions in the background. I wanted to see if you have any questions about these. I would stay in your normal size. If you don't carry your weight in your waist, you can probably size down. Um, or if you you're, don't carry your weight in your waist and you're a little bit, don't know how baggy you want. If you want your leg a little bit tighter, you can size down. I would just really, um, really stay. These are my normal size six and they're super comfortable. Holly says, what size is Natalie in these? Um, we will get, um, oh, Shelly's on. Hi. <laughs> um, we will get the uh, Natalie's size. We might have to message you back on there. Or ask on her if you have your page. You can help you there. Okay. Um, K-A, what's that? Um, so, okay, we, we had her try these on. She, um, an eight is the best um, fit for her. She can do the six just like I can. I can as well. Like the six fits her fine, but she uses loses that a little bit of that slouchy look. So it's kind of just depending. Okay. Um, Lisa, two size sixteen. Okay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> I didn't have to change for that one, right? Carly top. Oh, probably. Um, one of what I feel is the most flattering and probably true to my own style for a fashion top is the Carly top. I actually, this looks, so, our model's name is Carly, but we named the top Carly, but not, we named it before her, so it's not her, but she looked fabulous in it. And it was the exact styling that I pictured for this top. So in this pretty, I don't know, sandstone, what do we call it? Spice wood. Spice wood. <laughs> sandstone color. Um, we haven't done this type of kind of shaping at the chest. Um, and the shoulder, but it's so flattering. This is kind of more of a boho style top, okay? You get that loose, kind of drapey fit that's all intentional to the styling. We want this in this top to kind of hang and kind of drape and give you that kind of, a little bit more towards the boho side of things. This is a sheared and actually kind of smocked um, up here at the neckline and over the shoulders. So this sits really, oh, I'm supposed to change. Oh my gosh. Hold on. <laughs> Who, who's in this one? Do we dare bring anyone out? Who's in this one? Is this one? I hope it's somebody's Okay, extra small. Is it Gabby? 
don't even know. I'm not even looking at my my sheet. Okay. All right. She's coming out. I, I'm gonna take. <laughs> Woo! I don't know if I can put it into the teeny thing. Okay. So we're gonna show you. This is um. This is small on me. Okay. Looser, longer. Someone commented if we're making our shirt short. No. <laughs> this is longer. Almost, almost could be kind of considered a tunic length, but it kind of fits with that um, boho, easy, I just want to tuck this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so see how you get this like pretty draping, little bit of slit at the side. She kind of did the same thing. So whether you're doing distressed or a cleaner jean, you can totally do this with a designer denim. You can do this with a non-distressed jean or like we do, you know, slightly distressed, heavy distressed. Um, but you get this kind of just falls on you and look at how pretty the shaping is at the bust. Okay. Oh, I didn't even bring, aha, I don't have to show you. It's a textured material. We haven't used this kind of textured before. You can kind of see, um, I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Okay. You can see the little texture through that. It's like a little puckering, um, but it just gives this like perfect fall vibes. So Gabby's extra small. I'm in the small. Um, I can, I know you're going to ask, I can go down to the extra small, but it becomes more fitted and closer to my body than I prefer. I like this oversized look. I like how this hangs and drapes. Okay. So stay in your normal size. Um, who's in this one? And Sophia's in the, coming out too. Um, stay in your normal size. If you're between sizes, you can go down or if you're, or you can go down if you're even a, probably a whole size and not busty. If you want a closer fit, although that's not the styling that we intended for it, but you probably would be able to wear it. We wanted this to just feel like an easy throw on. Isn't that pretty? Look at how it lays. Look at how it sits, kind of sits over my shoulders. This is stretchy, so you don't have like tension in the shoulders. Deborah, I, I'm, I'm, I have a hard time. I love our, I love our print, floral print fashion tops, but this is a stunner. This is the, the textures, the way that it lays, the drop here. I mean, you can tie this if you wanted. Or just give yourself, are you an extra small or small? I'm in a small, but okay. I, can, I can do either. Okay, yeah. Sophia would, she's more narrower than me. Um, and do you, you can kind of go like that. And if you, sorry, if you wanted to. Um, she could go down to the extra small. You, it is an oversized fit, okay, intentionally. We didn't want to lose that. We wanted this to feel billowy and flowy and, and just kind of airy and kind of just hang and drape on your body. For that reason, you some of you can, and you can size down if you prefer a closer fit. Okay. Um, Courtney, the sleeves aren't fitted. They're just an easy, relaxed bell. There is elastic here, but look, we didn't, we didn't want this tight. We didn't want this. I mean, you can, you can pull it up and use the elastic. Um, look at how cute that is. I'm just really, I really, really love this top. I really, I really love this top. <laughs> I like a lot of things, but I really love, 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 love this one. I just think uh, this is just totally my style. Not with the sneakers. I would wear it with booties. Um, but you can use the elastic to come up. It's not tight. The extra small, um, like I said, I can wear it because it's a loose, the small. See how it's just kind of made to be loose easy and relaxed and because it's a loose body and my even my hip is bigger I can still I, I don't have that they're like put on the extra small do you change for us okay Carrie's, Carrie is like will you put on the extra small I don't have it if someone can throw it to me I gladly will um and does anyone have the extra small Carly um I can put it on Okay. No, Carla, there, there's no snagging in this because there's no open. Um, there, maybe you guys can see that well. There's no open, like it's not open, it's, it's puckered and it's like a little skip, like a little grid stitch in here, but nothing's open. So nothing will snag, nothing will grab on that. But oh, bring mine off. I can do that while I'm going to throw me. There's some, Amanda in her normal size, extra large, mm -hmm. again. Just flattering. See, with bust, no bust, whatever, you just get that drape and hang, and that nice shaping at the shoulders, um, and you get stretched in there, in those lines in there, so you don't, you're not confined. Okay, and that goes all the way around. This reminded me. Okay, see? All the way around the back. Melissa says, I've been waiting for a style like this. Yay! I'm so glad, because I, um, that's exactly how I, I would wear this. If you want it, you want to close it up, 
Do it. Oh, they threw me extra small. Okay, hold on one second. Um, I don't know. You're filming behind the scenes. Lyric's filming behind the scenes. She better not have me changing. So. I, didn't, I didn't film it. Hold on. Don't worry. No, don't worry. I'm just kidding. I know you didn't. I know she wouldn't do that. Um, so, extra small. Just, I'm going to lose a little bit of that oversized look um, and drape. One second. Okay. Someone said, does it fit like the Outlander shirt? The Outlander. Oh, kind of. But that was, um, the Outlander shirt was, is stretchy. Okay. So see here, I'm much more true at the bust. I'm actually using that drape. Um, and I still have room here, but I lose, I can still tuck. Um, and I have a little bit of tension in my cross back and, you know, back here because it's, you know, running more true to size at my bust. Um, but sleeve length is fine. So you obviously still no tension. We, we made that loose on purpose, but I lose a little bit of drape. So if you're smaller than me, um, and you don't want oversized, you, you, you can go down. Okay. Uh, Danielle size, um, small. So I lose, I still have like room here, but I'm definitely filling out my across front is filling out more of the chest. So I have less, less blousey, less um, collapsing, but still very, very flattering. And then more, you know, more true to size than it is oversized. Okay. Next. <laughs> Where am I at? Who, the, did we do everyone in this one? Long sleeve slub tee. Okay. You, we came out with these in the spring. You guys love them, ate them out, asked for more. Here they are. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a sucker. I'm a camo sucker, especially for fall and transitioning fall. Um, this is like my favorite thing to wear with these. Okay. With the jeans, looser leg, just give yourself a little front tuck. Same fit as the one from the spring. The only difference is you guys, we did not do the raw hems. We got some feedback. Um, we did the raw hem on purpose. We thought it kind of added to the casual, but your feedback is, was that you didn't prefer the raw. So the two new colors that we added for the fall, the camo and this really pretty, I call it burnt orange. I'm a Longhorn fan, okay? It's whiskey, we named it whiskey, but if you are a Texas Longhorn fan and you're looking for something burnt orange, there you go, okay? And that's just kind of a tone on tone tie dye of the burnt orange. Again, no frayed cut edges on the seams. And this is, this is a true to size top. You guys loved the fit of this. Okay. So size small is fitted kind of down through the bust has a little bit of shirt tail hem and room for tucking and not, I'm supposed to put it on. <laughs> I'm supposed to put it on. Let, bring, let me bring someone out who, who's in Gabby's in this extra small, right? All right, Gabby, come steal, come steal the show. <laughs> She's in her normal size, extra small. Um, but you can see if she untucks it, she's kind of flowy, relaxed. This is just your easy style tee. It is not the same color as um, the camo. All right, coming on. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're like burning how many calories doing this. It is not the same color as camo. If you have our long sleeve um, camo or even our short sleeve camo perfect pocket tee, these are different tones and different colors. Go on the VIP page. Sorry, guys. Ask there um, if you need to see a comparison, if you already have that. This is more of a nuded, muted, more tonal green. It even actually has some like um, grays in here, kind of tone on tone green. So size small, you have nice long arms, nice, you know, fully fit in the waist, extra small on Gabby, small on me. You can knot it, you can tuck it. Just give yourself a little tuck, casual, easy weekend wear nice long nice long length in the sleeves tammy says slub tees are her favorite i agree if you don't have them yet they're fabulous two new colors the whiskey of the camo next is sophia these girls are like changing changing queens today so i, I put the small on originally and then i just toss on the extra small because i think okay. i like it a little you prefer bit. extra small yeah. um so if you're narrow you can size down um which sophia is 
And she's fine in her sleeves, extra small in her, and she's more narrow, like I said. Look at my the width of my shoulders compared to hers. Okay, so um, she's more narrow. You can just if go go with your size that you ordered in this from the spring. If you don't have one yet, you could stay in your normal size or go down if you're busty or, or not busty or narrow. Okay. Yes, Jen, great question. Jen asked, is there a way to create the raw hem? There is. The raw hem is actually just a cut hem. So all you would have to do is take a scissors and just cut at the very top of this line. You're gonna like create a little hole with your scissors in like an envelope. You'll cut between those and then those will split and then that will definitely, those will curl apart. So the same thing you can do down here. If you want that cut hem, you're gonna open this up. This is what you do on the neckline too. And at the crease, with it, which is the top of the hem at the crease, you can just cut along that raw edge uh, or that finish edge and that would give you that raw edge. Okay, Erica, yes, this is screams fall. And look at how pretty, look at how good the colors of denim. Okay, who's in this? Michelle. Okay, <laughs> hi, another camo, okay. Um, this is our only camo piece in a top this season. So grab it. It's so, it's slinky, it's stretchy, it's comfortable, the sleeves are great. Like this is just kind of that weekend throw on, easy to wear. Okay, normal size, extra large. On, Michelle, where are we almost done? Bamboo. Yeah, I'm running out of words. Are you guys, do we need like an interm <laughs> intermission? I feel like we need an intermission. Bamboo, hang with me. We have two, we have bamboo and loggers left and earrings and that's it. We told you at the beginning of the year that new bamboo styles were coming and they're not coming all together like they're supposed to with all their colors that we launched like they're supposed to. They're coming just randomly. So we designed this um, easy bamboo pullover, okay? Nothing is better, in my opinion, than the bamboo wrap, the bamboo cardigans. Um, all, thing ba all things bamboo is what you asked for. All things bamboo is what we're giving you. So here is our first and only kind of just pullover style top. This does, this is the only color they pulled off the ship, <sighs> unfortunately. Um, there is another color in this, which is like a, gr a gray and ivory, gray and ivory, I think stripe, that did not make it into our warehouse. But instead of holding this and not giving you every chance you can to wear this lovely piece of clothing, um, we're just gonna launch you this color. And then as soon as the gray and the white stripe, whenever they decide to unload that from the boat, gets here, we will launch that color to you. We just, like I said, I don't wanna hold stuff. I don't have room to hold stuff in my warehouse in hopes of who knows when they're gonna deliver so them. So this is a pretty brick, brick rose red. It's showing up a little bit more red orangey on the screen than I think what it is in per person. Um, well, I'm supposed to put it on, right? Okay, who's in this? Gabby's, Gabby, you're gonna have to come out and steal, steal the show until I, until I figure out how to do these. So I really hope you're coming. Okay, she's coming. She is in. Normal size, <laughs> extra. Are you workwear? What are you at? Uh, this is kind of like workwear. Okay. So, so, oh yeah, you got heels on. This is kind of a true to size body. Okay, it's not super oversized, um, but our goal, Holly, our tech designer, goal in life, not in life, but in what she, her point has, we we don't, we not no more tight bamboo sleeves. Okay, that is our goal. We don't want you to have tight sleeves in bamboo. We want you to have very comfortable sleeves. So you can see on Gabby, um, we don't have tension. We don't have tension. Yay, they all rejoice, right? Okay, no, Catherine, not similar to the Circle Cardi. The Circle Cardi sleeves are real tight and real short. These have nice length. They are not snug. Look. Okay. Um, and I would say it runs pretty true to size. We wanted this to feel like you can dress this up for work. You can be in bamboo in the workplace. You can be in the most comfortable, softest thing on your body in the workplace. Um, you can do it casual. You can tuck it. You don't have to dress it up. I, If you're going to dress up a bamboo style, this is the one that I would consider dressing up. You could belt it. You could do it for date night with designer denim. Um, you can do it for girls night, church, you can necklace with it, <laughs> whatever. Okay, Cheryl, size small. Cheryl. 
Okay. Um, extra small guy, small on me. Small one. Or extra small on Sophia. Sophia, what'd you decide? Oh, I'm not coming out today, but uh, I was small. Oh, you're not coming yeah, out. Small. Okay. She, I don't know. Gabby, I mean, Sophia. Maybe an extra small. I think. <laughs> so, did you hear? She said, I wear a small on it. I think she could do an extra small on it because she's more narrow than me. You have a nice, gentle scoop neck, okay? Not too deep, not too long, not too, um, not too wide, but just gives you kind of that, like, nice, flattering. Oh, you are coming out. <laughs> you are coming out in it. Was that smaller? Extra, extra small. Yeah. See? Yeah. I know her better than she knows herself. She likes extra small because bamboo is stretchy, and the arms aren't tight, and she's more narrow than me. So she's, she's much slimmer through here, and her waist is half the size. Okay, so if you're between sizes, you can probably size down in this. Um, if you carry, I'm broad, I have stuff, extra spare tire here. Um, we do have side slits, okay, but you're not, you don't have tension. We made it comfortable. So be careful. I would not, I cannot size down to the extra small. I would get too tight, then I get the tight sleeves, okay. Emily says, Melissa, could you put a medium on? Let's <laughs> see. Ah, uh, and Denise is asking that. Girls, can anyone throw me a medium? I'll do it. Uh, you guys have stayed with me for longer than you've ever stayed with me on live. I'll do your request. But the small, I feel like, is flattering. Nice neck. See how pretty that is? Um, throw it on with designer denim. You can ca you can do casual. Thank you. You can, you can sneaker this if you want. I just think this silhouette and this body is really flattering dressed up because it's not a super oversized body. Amanda's here. Sorry. <laughs> I almost forgot. I was going to change into mine. Okay, her normal size, extra large. And her, see the flattering neckline? Nice stretchy material. Not to, no tension. Okay? You can give Holly all the praises. Please, she works her tail off. <laughs> Being a tech designer is not easy. And she is, hers like, I'm, we're not doing tight sleeves in bamboo, guys. We're not doing short sleeves in bamboo. We are doing nice, long length. Um, okay, who wants medium on me? Oh, I should have changed when Amanda was out here. You guys, I'm going to have to get down this. Um, the medium on me is going to be more oversized. I like the fit of the small. Um, but if you did want like a casual, more casual sweater, um, and you didn't want to, and you didn't, um, what am I trying to say? You want like a comfy wear at home. Okay, so I got longer. I got wider. I got looser in the body, slouchier in the arms, and now I have on like weekend, Co it's cozy on the couch, the good book, um, snuggle up, more of a snuggle up sweater, less fitted, more like so you can see, I have zero tension in my arm at all, and the body is looser. So if you're wanting, maybe, you know, that's the thing, if you want like snuggle up, Cozy at home, throw this on. Um, you could go up if between. I prefer the look of the small on me. I like that it's more um, fitted. But if you wanted an oversized, you know, and then you got your baggy, your mom jeans on. Cute, right? Okay. <sighs> Where am I at? <laughs> I was in track. Live in loungers, last thing. Another one that the port is just deciding to send whatever they want. These are all supposed to come together. Um, these arrived. So we're just like, you guys, again, I'm just, I just need to give you what I can give you. I have no room to store. We have three warehouses packed to the brim um, and I, I can't store product. I have to sell it to you. I need to get this in your hands, okay? Um, two new colors in loggers. We do have, this is another split shipment. So black is restocking. There's a floral print, vintage floral print. I feel like there's one more. What am I missing? I feel like there might be one more. Um, <clears throat> so just so you know ahead of time, but this is what is here. This is what we're launching to you. This is heathered olive, which we've never done before. This is heathered with two colors of olive. Okay, so you get that little bit of texture um, visually, but it's not too, it's, it's pretty subtle, not too bold. And then the stripe, okay? The stripe is black and a kind of charcoal gray. We haven't done this color in the stripe before. We had a VIP 
only release last year that people got word of. I mean, it was like a, I don't, I don't know, I can't even remember what happened with that shipment, but it was a, like a custom, just a custom small run for select VIPs. Um, and we wanted to bring you something similar, but different. So this one is everyone, everyone can have it. This one's black and Heather Gray. These run, um, the stripe does have, is a little bit thicker. So more like our florals, um, more like the stripes that you had in the past. Yes, Sammy, they are like, they're the, the, the winter weight, regular weight, not summer weight, okay? They're, they kind of have that tacky, almost like the black camo kind of had that little bit more stable. It's th definitely thicker. Stripe is always going to kind of be thicker. The olive with the heathering is a little bit more, it's still not summer weight, but it's a little bit, like it doesn't have the grippy, quite thickness that the stripe has. Okay, people in these. Gabby, <laughs> we all need, I feel like I need like popsicle or ice cream day or something after this one. You all deserve it too, because you're hanging with us. Normal size is extra small. These are casual. For those of you who are tuning in, don't know what a logger is. It's one part legging, one part jogger. They're super stretchy jogger details. Nice deep pockets. Cuffed ankle. Casual. Wear them at home. Throw it on with a sweatshirt. They are perfect for fall. Perfect for year round because you just throw on a sweatshirt, a tee, a tank, whatever. Um, a graphic tee. And bamboo. Okay, whatever. And it's just comfortable, easy. You never want to take them off. Okay? Okay. Uh, Sophie's in small. I need a fan. My, I was supposed to change. I can't change. I'm not ready for. I'm not. I figured you're changing in longer. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to figure out how fast I can change into pants yet. Size, size small or normal size loggers. The stripes. The, stri I know the stripes <laughs> are kind of freaking out on the camera, but they are. They're nice, good, like casual stripe. Um, small in her, and then. Michelle, <laughs> I can't lose and drag over. Here we go. Cute. See, I said you're gonna find these kind of sages and dusty colors are gonna work with your um, with loggers, with joggers, with you're gonna find things in your closet that you have from us, Grace and Lace, that um, you can start to pair together. Okay. Okay. Oh, earrings. Oh my gosh, I should have wore these today. I didn't even. I always put on my hoops. It's like my go-to. We um, are doing some kind of just different and fun jewelry for you guys this year um just to have accessories these are fun leather wrapped what are they called faux leather wrapped earrings um you guys this launch is loaded i know that but it's it's fabulous um this is like the cream or ivory kind of a cream can you see um hold on this i i know this is much better <laughs> do this okay so um, ivory, this is like a faux leather wrap. Look at how fun, you guys. I These are a little bit bold, not too bold, but this is kind of that cheetah and has a little bit of a little bit of gold foiling in it. So you get a little bit of shimmer. Um, you guys know, I've said it a million times, earrings that aren't heavy are important to me. So we made sure we used a faux, a light faux leather. This is wrapped. And then I'm going to try to show this to you guys. If I can get this in. See? Look at how that just um, adds just a little something. Okay? See, it's pretty. You get this one has a little bit of shimmer. The other ones, the black. Oh, I was going to put this on a black one. I don't know. The black faux leather. You can see the texture a little bit. Um, or the ivory. Neutral, easy to wear, light, okay, not heavy. Tara, they're not heavy. <laughs> She's like, how heavy? Not heavy earrings are important to me. Why can't I get, I feel like I need a mirror to see how these are. Not heavy, they just kind of, why am I, ah, I need a mirror to see where, what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. Um, and they just hook in the back. They do have a stopper, additional stopper, if you didn't, um, you don't want to, I don't want to come too close to the camera because I see how bad. But look, they're light. They're not heavy. They're not too dramatic. We released these. 
another one that's needed, just a real basic. They're not as light as these. These are literally feather light, but these are not heavy. They, we, um, they're like a very light wrapped um, material. They're not heavy. Okay. All right. That is it. Are there any? Oh, good question. Tara says it's the part silver gold. There, it is gold on all of them. However, you really don't see, the only gold you really see and you really don't see it is this, um, is the little hanger because the material kind of wraps the whole thing. So I would, I would personally feel safe wearing this with any other metals because you really don't get, um, you don't really see a bunch of metal. You mainly see kind of that wrapped detail. Amber, they are, they're not as light as, are you talking about these? No, Amber, I'm not sure what, if you're talking about these earrings, they, these are featherweight. These have like no weight at all. I would say they're lighter than the fan fringe earrings. If I can remember right. Okay. Okay. Courtney just bought her first bamboo, you guys. She needs like a round of applause because you're going to love it. Okay. Any other questions? Anything I can answer? I have kept you guys for over an hour, which is crazy that you've listened to me talk for that long, but this was a huge launch and we had a lot of very important, a lot of very important things to talk about. Any other questions before I can go? If, uh, if I don't catch your question on here, which I know I missed a lot, um, make sure to ask our VIP page. The girls, when they're done modeling, will, um, will help you out on those. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm signing off. I leave, actually, this ended up working out great that we had all these con containers come in because um, I have to take my family to Disney tomorrow. <laughs> so um, this worked out good. We will have a launch next week sometime. Might be Wednesday, might be Thursday, might be Friday. It just depends on when they can get more containers off that boat. Um, that's it. If you have more questions, ask our Grace and Lace VIP page. Um, we can help you out. We will see you next week. Bye-bye.